Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a tough A14, the FA401 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage and your memory. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're gonna flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. This computer has 11 screws in the bottom case and the screw down here in the corner near the blue arrow that screw does not actually come out of the bottom case. When you unscrew it, it just pushes up a little bit on the bottom case, but it stays inside. So this is where you would start prying it off with your pry tool. You'll go nice and slow around the edges. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge, go nice and slow but firm, and you'll be able to get that bottom case off. If you get stuck going in one direction and you can't seem to pry it up anymore, leave it alone. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you get your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any upgrade or replacement parts for this specific model, the FA401, I will have a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools, supplies, and replacement parts. Before touching anything in a computer, it's always wise to remove or at least unplug your battery. Computers are safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Your battery is right down here along the bottom of my screen. It's held in by these four screws near the red arrows, and it's plugged into the motherboard right here near the blue arrow. Now to get this plug out, there's a metal bar on top that you would gently slide up toward the top of the computer, and then you'll be able to pop this clip off. You have two different storage locations. You have one here on the right side of my screen and one here on the left underneath these black guards. You can just gently carefully peel them up so you don't damage them, but they're just held on by double-sided tape so you can peel those off. After you do, you reveal the two M.2 ports. This one on the right for most of you will be empty. You'll see the port right here and the screw here that holds your solid state drive down. And as you can see, there's no screw in the middle. So this only will accommodate the 2280 sized solid state drives. The other port here on the left is the one where most of you will have a solid state drive in. Again, it's held in by a single screw there and then this solid state drive will release. This computer can handle up to Gen 4 solid state drives. Again, the 2280 size. I will have all the solid state drive spec information below in the description if you need it, but I will also have some upgrade and replacement options below in that link I told you about with all of the replacement parts and tools for this computer. After removing this solid state drive, you'll notice it's wrapped in aluminum foil and there's a thermal pad inside of it. So if you are replacing this drive, make sure to put that thermal pad on the new one and wrap it again in, in this thermal foil. Below in that list, I will have a 500 gigabyte solid state drive if you're looking to add one to this port or if you're looking to replace this one at a low cost. But I will also have a one terabyte solid state drive for a little larger upgrade. As a side note, if you are installing a new drive to your computer, you most likely will have to install an operating system to it. I will have a video link below in the description. It will be a tutorial showing you how to install Windows 11 to an ASUS computer. And as an additional side note, if you are replacing a bad drive, but there's some data on it that you would like to recover, keep in mind that it is usually possible to recover data even from a bad drive. I will have more information about that below in the description as well. Now, as far as your RAM, your RAM is right here. However, it is not replaceable or upgradable. Uh, it's soldered onto the motherboard. So there's pretty much nothing we can do with it. It's up to 32 gigabytes, depending on your model that you will have of RAM. Uh, I will have the RAM specs below in the description as well if you need that. But again, there's not so much upgrade that we can do with RAM anymore these days with computers like this. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside the tough A14 and access your memory and your storage.